Let's start with atoms. So if we look at the periodic table and we were to take an element out of that periodic table, and we're gonna blow it up, so in this case it's silicon, the first thing that we see is the atomic number. The atomic number is equal to the number of protons inside the nucleus, and it's gonna give us a unique number for every element. The second thing that you're gonna see is the element symbol. The element symbol is one or two letters with the first one always capitalized, and the second one, there is a second one, always lowercase. The last thing is the average atomic mass. The average atomic mass is the average mass of all the isotopes of a given element, taking into consideration their relative abundance. So if, uh, that's why you always see that as a decimal, because it's just an average of all the masses of all the different types of uh, atoms that are for that one element. If we look at ions, ions are the atoms that have either gained or lost electrons. So if we were to take a neutral atom and remove a negative electron, we have an overall positive charge now, and we have that positive ion. We call positive ions cations. If we were to take that same neutral atom and then give it a negative electron, now we have an overall negative charge, and we're going to have a negative ion. We call negative ions anions. So it's basically just the difference between the negative electrons and the positive protons that's going to give us our overall charge. If you're going to take elements like lithium and aluminum and oxygen and fluorine, we're always going to write the charge for an ion on the top right corner of the element symbol. So we have Li plus and uh, Al3 plus, O2 minus, and F minus. Positive charge always means that we've lost electrons, and negative charges always mean that we have gained electrons. Naming these is not any different. For lithium, it's just a lithium, ion, uh, lithium cation. For aluminum, it's aluminum cation. The same goes for the anions. We have an oxygen anion, and we have a fluorine anion. Isotopes uh, are atoms of the same element, that have differing number of neutrons inside the nucleus. So if we look at carbon, we have carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14, all have six protons, but carbon-12 has six neutrons, carbon-13 has seven, and carbon-14 has eight neutrons. So when naming an isotope, you always say the element name and then the mass number. So here for silicon-28, silicon is the element name, and 28 is the mass number. To find the mass number, or sorry, to find the number of neutrons, you take the mass number, subtract the number of protons, and there's your number of neutrons. Silicon 28, you take 28, which is the mass number, subtract 14, which is the atomic number for silicon, and 28 minus 14 is 14 neutrons. Put silicon 27 and silicon 26, you find the neutrons in a very similar fashion. So here you have 13 neutrons and then 12 neutrons. Having the symbol for uh, an isotope, you always have the mass number on the top left. So for silicon 28, there's going to be a 28 on the top left. And the atomic number is always on the bottom left. And if there is a charge, it's going to go on the top. Created using Powtoon.